morning, everybody. Uh, we're almost sitting in our places and listen carefully now. I'm going to explain how to open and run the Dolphy files that are posted on Google Classroom. So you will go into Google Classroom as normal to your grade and you'll see in the stream that you know I've posted new material. Let's say we're going to go and download the data files for this activity 12.3 for grade 10 for example. So I click on that and I see these four files or there might be more. So what you do is each one has to be downloaded individually unfortunately. But fortunately I've condensed it to only four. The four necessary files that we need for every program. A .dpr, a .dfm, a .res and a .paz. So we download the first, I just click on it. This is what happens, we see this and just click the download button. And now it's doing its thing over there, downloading, see? That's doing that. I'm going to back to the next tab, this tab again, and I'm going to download the next one. Click on it. And then click on the download. Then go back to that tab and in this window again, click on the next one. We've got to make sure you download all the files. Click on the thing and click on the download button. That's the third one. Luckily there's only four here. So I'm clicking on this one now, and that is going to download too. And there's a nice little window at the bottom here showing us the four downloads. So you count them, make sure they're all four different ones. Yes. Now you go and click on any one of them and go to show in folder. Obviously you do that only when you're sure that they're all finished downloading. Okay, they might take longer depending on your network connection. So let's go click on show in folder. So you click that arrow, show in folder, <coughs> and it'll take you to the place where it was downloaded to. You can also check the date there and the time, make sure you have the right ones, and then I'm going to select all four of them. At this stage you can either copy or cut, I'll just copy in case you make a mistake can delete them later because we're going to move these to another folder on your computer. So I'm going to put them in a documents folder on my computer and I'm going to make a new folder over here. Right click new folder. <coughs> I'm going to call it what I want to call it. Um, I think I'll call it activity 12 number 3 and I'll block, put a date in there. 310320, today's date. And now I open the folder and control V to paste. So there they are. All safe and sound inside a folder for that program. And while I'm about it, I can go and delete these now. It's always best to keep this downloads folder clear. Then we are going to open Delphi. Okay, we know we are dot files are there they are there this folder now I'm going to open Delphi start embarcadero Delphi 2010 or just open Delphi any version you have then once it is open I can go file and open this doesn't need to be it's just a welcome page I go to file and open file and open, not open project. Then you've got to navigate to the folder over here on the left hand side. You navigate to the correct folder where your program is that you want to open. It's this one and you open the .dpr. See? It could be either 1kb or 5kb but that is the one that you open .dpr and click open. If you cannot see your file extensions, you can click that button and make sure you're on details view. That's one way. 
or otherwise just look for the symbol if there's no dot dpr there look for that little symbol not the helmet that one is the project file and it will say Delphi project file okay then I click open and there you are there's your program so have fun programming guys and take care